Hey everybody, Brian here. In this video, I want to show you this car here. This is a 2018 Honda CRV, and this is a diesel S navigation model. Uh, Brian's my name. If you have any information you want on this car, 086-843-1945. Call, text, WhatsApp, whatever suits, and I'll run through information on the car. Or if you want information about maybe scrapping a car or trading in a car or finance or whatever it is. So we uh, sold a lot of these cars over the last few years and they're starting to get pretty seldom now uh, with low mileage. So there's still plenty of them around. Um, but it's just getting hard to find them with uh, nice low mileage. And, uh, you know, the ones we used to sell, they were always kind of one owner, full service history, um, which is what this car is but I am finding them more difficult to find. Anyway, this is a really nice one. I think it's in, uh, the reason I say that is I always like black on these anyway. So I think it's a really smart looking color. And I think it looks well then because it also has those side running bars. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look around the features on the outside of the car. Um, and then we'll have a quick drive in the car. And then we will also uh, look at the features on the inside. And by the end of the video, you'll know if it's something that you're considering coming to look at. So, things I like on these cars. Um, black, like I said to you, it was always my favourite colour on them. Um, so, black car, but I like the fact it's brushed aluminium along the front bumper. So, this model changed around 2015 in the CRV. I think it got way smarter and more upmarket looking when they did that. They have those really cool daytime running lights along through there. And then that also links in with those lines link in with the kind of chrome on the bumper. Like we're saying, brushed aluminium along through here. And then if you move around along to the side over here, the brushed aluminium, I think, complements these side running bars. Uh, so they look really nice, I think, but they also have black, like the car, but brushed aluminium, which matches what we've already seen low down over here. And then, uh, like we said, chrome here, chrome along the middle around the windows. And if we go to the back of the car, it's a similar team as well, so like we were saying to you, up high, we saw chrome around the front, chrome here, chrome up high along here, and then low down, brushed aluminium, brushed aluminium, brushed aluminium. So, like, okay, yes, I obsess about that kind of stuff, but I love kind of symmetry and the way things, you know, all come together. Uh, this one's got privacy glass as well, uh, and then after that there's a nice 17 inch wheel, which is a straightforward silver wheel. So some of them come in a diamond cut, um, I kind of, in this case, like that because it's lovely, but it's just very, very popular. Now, these are a little bit, you know, I like the fact that it's uh, a bit of a change. And I like this, sorry, I like, I like the fact that the silver matches the brushed aluminium on the car. Anyway, I am a crazy person the way I think about these things, but I think it's a really smart looking car in black. Uh, after that then, in terms of the size of the car, I think actually, do you know what, before we go for a drive, try that again we'll have a quick look in the boot uh, so the boot in these is really really big there is a spare wheel the seats have some flexibility so you can pull that drops down you can pull and that drops down and then you can take out this tannoy cover here and you end up with a super duperty large load area in the back like that is a massive space if you've anything awkward that you want to transport over here there's a little area for cover, or for holding the jack. Actually, do you know what? That's kind of cool. I've never seen anyone do that before. That's kind of handy. Uh, 12 volt power in through there. A little bit of storage in through here, which I've just managed to clip off. Oh, that's back in place. So uh, there's also little anchorage points around the car for holding stuff down as well. And like we said then, the car has privacy glass, but you also have that tunnel cover for privacy. Cool thing on these is, look how wide the back doors open. So what I mean is, put these back into place. Oh, actually forgot there is an armrest on these in the rear drinks holder. Anyway, I'm going to sit in the back just to give you an idea. But the rear doors open stupidly wide. Um, so if you have kids, it's really handy for trying to get around a child seat. Child lock here, electrics windows here, brushed aluminium for the door handles in through there. And then in terms of size in the car, if you are a six foot adult sitting into that car, sitting behind myself, this is the headroom I'll have, this is the legroom I'll have. So it's very, very comfortable. And then moving up to the front, electrics for windows and mirrors over here. Storage, storage, drinks holders, height adjuster, lumbar support for lower back. So the button here, you press it backwards or forwards, it brings out this part of the seat. That steering wheel's rake reach, so it goes in and out and up and down. Eco function, which reduces how aggressive the cruise control is, the throttle, and the air conditioner. So it all basically makes them all less aggressive, which means the car is trying to behave more economically. 
And then when you're sitting in the car, and we're going to go for a drive now. So over here, trip information, average speed, fuel efficiency. In this case, there's a warning. So that tells me I've got a low tire pressure. Uh, so we haven't got the car into our workshop yet. Cruise control here with a speed limiter. So I can take my foot off the uh, accelerator when I'm driving if I want. Change the information up here in the eye mid. So that's kind of in your eye line when you're driving along. You look at your mirror, you look at your radio. Now, to be fair, that was from a time before the screen came in. So they kind of double up a bit now. Um, but average speed and fuel efficiency. By the way, one of these cars, 1.6 diesel, all day long, 50 plus miles per gallon. Which you might say, oh, okay, that's not unbelievable. It actually is for a car this size to normally consistently return it. And there's good power in them. You'll see when we drive it. Bluetooth is down through there. Like we said, it's a Navi model, so it gets the big screen with a camera and navigation. And there's one or two people left that actually have CDs. But a lot of people don't. So you will use three, sorry, two USB connectors, HDMI if you want to play a video, or a 12 volt outlet in the armrest. Drinks holders in through there. Gear stick, you'll see when we're driving, it's nice and it's high mounted where it is dual zone climate control so I can have different temperatures on each side of the car with front and rear windscreen demister and they also demist the wing mirrors. And like I sent you then this car is done 47 or so thousand miles which is 70 70 something thousand kilometers. There ain't too many of them left uh, with low mileage and we have sold a lot of these over the years. We were selling Hondas from 2012. We sold a lot of these brand new and then we started bringing these in when they were three years old from England always one owner always full service history proper cars and they are just gone impossible and Briggs has killed that off so I find it so hard to get them now got a couple in the last year or two but they're mainly features like this one uh, only from the north of Ireland can't get them across from England anymore the, the, the VAT is just prohibitive um, but anyway this is one of the last of them well maybe hopefully there'll be one or two more left but uh, they're getting hard to get anyway sorry I'm babbling so let's go for driving the car when these cars came out, they had a 2.2 engine, and then they brought in this one was 1.6. So that came in around 2000, sorry, 2013 even. Uh, anyway, it's a good economical engine, and I mean, people like we're saying to you, people will knock out on these. You know, even if you don't try, you're going to be somewhere in the region of sort of 40 to 40, sorry, 45 to 50 miles per gallon. Anyone, which is like, you know, six, six and a half litres. Anyone that tries it all in the five, five and a half litre area, which is over 50 miles per gallon, that is very, very achievable. And a lot of people, when they came out in 1.6 and they're used to 2.2, they're concerned about power. But in fairness, this car has 300 newton metres of torque. So there's good power. It actually feels light and frisky when you're driving it. And like, so the engine is responsive. I'm, I'm happy with the level of power that's in it. Anyone that comes to drive it, they won't be disappointed. And they're also nice and stable on a back road. So like, this isn't a great road, but I'd be, every bit as confident driving this as it would something like a Honda Civic. So anyway, it drives good. I think it looks good. I think it's a nice example. If there's any information you want in the car, Brian's my name. 086-843-1945. It's Patrick's Garage, Kildare Town, a family-run business. In operation for almost 70 years. So I'd like to send to you if you want information on scrapping a car, trading in a car, or just information about this car in particular, do not hesitate to give us a shout. Hopefully the video's been useful. Hopefully the car's of interest. Thanks for watching.